this is Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. Welcome to Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. I'm Marley from Los Angeles. I'm 10 years old and I'm interviewing Amy Landecker, who is the narrator of last week's episode of Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. If you hadn't heard from last week's episode, now is a good time to go back and check it out. Amy, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Amy Landecker. I'm an actress. I have the pleasure of doing um, some voiceover on animated series. Like, I'm the mom in Troll Hunters, and I'm in a video game called Assassin's Creed. And I'm also, like, the good cow in the lactate commercials, if you've ever seen that. And then I get to do on-camera stuff. I've been on shows like Grey's Anatomy, and I have a series called Transparent that no one should watch until they're at least 15. (laughs) But it has wonderful themes about acceptance and love. And I'm in a movie with Jamie Foxx coming out on Netflix. It's a sci-fi called Power, so hopefully some things that kids of all ages can enjoy. What values did your parents instill that are important to pass on to your own child? I grew up with parents who were part of the baby boom generation, which was a generation of people who sort of came of age with the advent of rock and roll and love in the 60s. And it was a real um, transformation to a time of love and acceptance being sort of most guiding principles in your life. So it it was a turn from, oh, I need to be really successful or I need to be powerful. I need to be loving and kind and curious about people who are different than me. I had a yoga teacher for a mom and a disc jockey for a father. So I had a very unconventional childhood. And they were definitely people who taught me to be loving and accepting of all kinds of people from all kinds of backgrounds. What does resistance mean to you? Um, I think resistance can have a positive meaning if you think of it as standing up for something that you believe in, as opposed to just the idea of like pushing back. And I think about Martin Luther King and the way that he chose to resist things, which was about sort of standing very firm and clear and not about fighting, but more about changing the way that you feel or talk or treat people because of somebody else's behavior, but staying true to your own beliefs and your own values. So that, to me, is resistance. What's a Jewish family tradition that you were taught growing up? A Jewish tradition that I was taught growing up was we would have the uh, dinner on Friday nights. It's called Shabbat. (laughs) And it's a time when your family sort of turns off all the technology and all the phones and, and all the noise and you gather together and you you know, have some some special time that's uninterrupted where you're sort of, you know, quiet and enjoying each other's company and having a a lovely meal. Thanks, Amy. Rebels, tune in next week for a new episode on Salsa Queen Celia Cruz, read by actress Justina Machado. If you like this show, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen and share it with all of your friends. Stay Rebel!